I've been taking 1 mg oral finasteride and applying 5% topical minoxidil to my scalp once a day for around 8 months now to combat male pattern baldness. This video is about minoxidil symptoms and my experience. Now, my experience with minoxidil, I would say that it's been great overall. Two years ago, I used 5% topical minoxidil on my beard, or what was then my cheeks on my face. Um, I started in January 2020 and ended in spring of 2021. I did get hair growth, but minoxidil caused dark spots under my eyes, or perhaps, at the very least, contributed to it. I also dried out my face as well uh, due to the minoxidil, so... You know, you have to be aware of that if you're going to apply it d directly on your face or on your cheeks. So what about my scalp? Well, I had a lot of minoxidil dandruff in the beginning of my scalp treatment. Uh, this was essentially white flakes as well as itchiness. The irritation on my scalp went away after two weeks or so. Also, I had a shedding phase for about three weeks, but this is expected because it was restarting my hair growth cycle. Now, I did have a case of hypertrichosis. I think that's how you say it. The excess growth of hair on my face and just any, anywhere else besides my scalp. Um, you know, I was getting a lot of hair growth. As you can see in this picture, I had a lot of hair growth on my forehead. The vellus hairs or baby hairs, if you're not looking at the screen right now, um, it's a picture of just a bunch of hair sprouting on my forehead. I would say at this point in time my hairline was coming back, but I did have to remove the abundant hairs that were growing on my forehead. This likely happened because at the time I would apply minoxidil at night and perhaps while I was sleeping it would spread on my pillow and then on my face. This is probably contributing to my dark circles as well. Wearing a nightcap should solve this issue and also make sure the minoxidil isn't coming off of my scalp and getting on my pillow and then onto my face. But also, actually massaging the minoxidil into the scalp probably would have done, you know, better at preventing, you know, the drip from minoxidil coming onto my face. Now, the dark circles and drying of the skin, honestly, I just need a better skin care routine. Um, like I said, yeah, minoxidil and its, you know, properties probably contributed to that, but I would wager my eating habits then during the pandemic probably made it worse. But yeah, this is also a symptom of topical minoxidil, as far as I'm concerned or what I remember. Dark circles and dry skin. Those are a possible, you know, side effect. Aside from the minor itchiness, minoxidil dandruff, and temporary hypotrichosis, or excess hair growth on my forehead, I did not have heart palpitations. You know, that was, that's one of the side effects of minoxidil, or symptoms, rather. Um, that you could get heart palpitations. I know some people have had this as a symptom because minoxidil is a vasodilator and it can affect blood pressure. It can. There is a possibility. But this is rare. Um, but people have reported this, of course. Now, I can only talk about topical minoxidil because that's what I've used. I have heard about oral minoxidil and it's something that I don't have experience with and, and you know, I, as far as I know that it has been shown to have hair growth benefits and safety when taken at low doses, but it too has heart palpitations as a possible side effect. But you know, I, I honestly, in my opinion, I, I wouldn't use it. So for me, I didn't have any major side effects. A lot of these issues, such as the dark circles and drying of the skin, essentially could be fixed with lifestyle adjustments, right? Now, how did I solve the dandruff issue and the scalp itchiness and irritation? This is where using oils actually helped. You know, on this channel, I talk about how there's this whole essential oil scam that, you know, essential oils can combat male pattern baldness and reverse it. That's pretty much a scam, but this is where it's ac it actually helped me, right? I used coconut oil for about 50 minutes after I'd used topical um, minoxidil, and this dealt with the itchiness and the scalp irritation for the most part, and my suspicion is that minoxidil, uh, because it has alcohol uh, in it, tends to dry out the skin, so applying an oil about 50 minutes or maybe 30 minutes after can bring some sort of moisture to your scalp. And with the dandruff, I use Kitakotazol shampoo twice a week, and this helped a lot. Now, I did use rosemary during my three-week shedding phase when I first started using minoxidil and finasteride. 
as I have read some studies about its possible growth effects for scalp hair. But again, I'm not sure if it stopped my shedding sooner, but it did also relieve scalp itchiness as well. So is minoxidil right for you? Well, in order for it to work, you need an enzyme in your body that can turn minoxidil into its active ingredient that facilitates hair growth, minoxidil sulfate. And this is achieved by the sulfotransferase enzyme. And essentially, the more sulfotransferase enzyme you have, the better minoxidil uh, growth effects you get because it can turn more of that minoxidil into minoxidil sulfate and that is what leads to your your hair growing or you know being stabilized so that's pretty much it for this video thank you for listening and i hope to make some more updates on my progress maybe i'll do a skincare thing i, I don't know i really don't like showing my face all that much anyway see you guys